Okay, well, I'm kind of in the mood to play some of the original Legend of Zelda. For some reason, I don't know why, but eh. I feel like doing it, and I thought, eh, why not? Let's... Let's do this. The Legend of Zelda. Long ago, Ganon, Prince of Darkness, stole the Triforce of Power. Princess Zelda of Hyrule broke the Triforce of Wisdom into eight pieces, and hid them from Ganon before she was kidnapped by Ganon's minions. Link. You must find the pieces and save Zelda. Along the way, you shall find Heart. Container Heart. Fairy. Clock. Rupee. Five Rupee. Life Potion. Second Potion. Letter. Food. Mmm, food. Sword. A wooden sword, as everybody calls it. White Sword. Magical Sword. Magical Shield. Boomerang. Magical Boomerang. Bomb. Bow. Arrow. Silver Arrow. Blue Candle. Red Candle. Blue Ring. Red Ring. Croissant. Uh, power Bracelet. A quarter, or flute, raft, step ladder, magical rod, book of magic, how much more is there? Key, magical key, map, compass, and the most important thing of all, the Triforce. Also, how could I forget to please look at the manual for more details, I forgot all about that item. <laughs> but it doesn't matter right now, let's just jump right into this, but first I actually have to register it. So, we'll just go with what the proper title, what the proper name is, Link, as told by that opening. So, let's dive right on in. And as I don't plan on doing a three heart or a swordless run, because, oh my god, definitely not for me. Let's go out here. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this! So, yeah. Odd how the entire game starts. We only start with a shield, which looks like a book to me. Uh, but yeah, you actually have to go get yourself a sword. <laughs> and honestly, this is one of those odd little things. I am both... Shoot. Very well off, and at the same time, not well off at all. Main reason being that if we die, well, if we lose all of our hearts in the top right of the screen, we will essentially get a game over. But if we game over, we come back at three hearts. However, since we're just starting off, I wanted to show something off real quick. This isn't going to be important to us right now, which is it might be very useful later on when we have more. If you can come over here, buddy. I'm trying to fight enemies, trying to get some drops. Most importantly, I'm trying to see if I can get myself some cash as well as bombs. Ow! However, oops, I have unfortunately taken a hit. I am now no longer at full HP, and as such, I have lost my sword beams. And now I'm at three hearts again, so I got them back. Go out and about in the world. We can find ourselves some enemies, such as these Octorox here that die in one hit. However, these blue guys, not as easily. Ooh, that was also very nice. I got myself some bombs. I was not I was not entirely sure I was gonna get those so easily. But yeah, we found Blue Octorox, Red Octorox, now we're finding Moblins. And red moblins are about just as powerful as a blue Octorox. Blue Uh blue Oh my god, I forgot their names! Well the blue varieties are even stronger than that. Anyways, I just wanted to come up this way because I wanted to show off. If I don't die. Let me also fight these guys if I can. No, no, never mind. I want to go up this way because I wanted to show off this, a fairy fountain. Very useful, especially later on if we have more than three hearts and we want to try and get our health back. Again, being as we are at the start of the game. With enemies not being too entirely difficult, having only three hearts can be a godsend. But there are ways of getting more hearts, and I was not expecting to get bombs this soon. Oh. However, I'm doing terrible at actually keeping my hearts. <laughs> but since I got a uh, bomb so early, we can also check around. I think this is just an old lady? Yes, it is. She has nothing for us. Unless we get something to uh, give her. Uh, which is that? I thought she told us something, but clearly she didn't. Also, the one I skipped, I believe this is a store, yes! Buy something, will ya? So yeah, we can see, he got some stuff here, that's the medical shield. We got keys, but I'm not gonna buy any of these keys. And a candle. I will want to buy that candle eventually, and most likely also want to buy that... ...medical shield. But I probably won't do it until later. Fairy! Fairies are better than hearts in the fact that they will restore more health, but they don't give us back a full health. A full... Yeah, they don't restore really our health back of the full. By the way, I just want to go out this way now that I got bombs. I was not really expecting that. Again, um, 
So I did a... Well, this is actually my second attempt at recording this. The first attempt had an issue where the game audio didn't record. And in the 20 minutes I was playing the game, I could not get bombed to save my life. Can I get that? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so since I got bombed, I want to go out this way. And if I can go... A little further to the right... Ooh, 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 stop watch. Good. Stops enemies in the tracks and I can't take damage. In that room. Keep going to the right. Is it this one? Ow! I call you Tektites? Wait, is that what you call Tektites? I can't remember now. These guys take a couple of hits. I believe it's right here. Yes, they're going here. How did you know that was there? Yeah, nothing. Take anyone you want! So, that's a life potion to get our health back up to full. Or a heart container. I'm gonna say right now... If you want to get the best sword in the game, you have to take, I think, at least one of those heart containers. If you take the potion every time, you're going to be out of luck. Uh, now, we could explore the world, and actually, I could get myself another heart upgrade. Uh, but I will get that one later on this episode, most likely. Ah, sing assuming that things go as they did in my first attempt recording. Because uh, we, I right now want to go find the first dungeon, and I believe I'm too far- wait, yeah, I think I'm too far to the right, I think I have to go left a little bit. I'm a little upset I'm not full health, but, uh, I should survive. Something to keep in mind when it comes to the enemies, is that they operate on, like, a tile-based system with their movement. So if you can try to be, like, in between tiles to try and attack them, that might be your best bet. Also, I want to say different enemies will always drop you different... Well, not always, but their, their drops are, I guess, quote, predetermined based on what variety of enemies they are, as well as the enemy itself. Buy something, will ya? No, I think I'm good. I don't want to buy more bombs, but it's good to... Oh, I said I don't want to go... <laughs> I don't want to buy more bombs, but it's good to know that bombs are here. And, speaking of which... Um, well, maybe not speaking of which is bombs, but... Thing of the shops... There are multiple shops throughout the game, as we just saw right there, but different... Oh, I'm way off. Uh, different shops will sell a different variety of items, but some will also sell items at a cheaper price. Yeah. So, for example, that magical shield we saw was 130. We can find one for cheaper, as well as more expensive. I believe it goes from 160 to 130 to 90. I think he also had arrows in his shop, which is something I need later on. I hate these guys. These guys are P-hats, and they are annoying. You can only hit them when they stop moving around. And even then, they don't stay down for too long. Although, I've been going all over the world, and if I do this how I think I... Uh, how I... am hoping to actually do this. Um, future me's gonna be annoyed with all the editing. Ooh, thank you for the heart. Also, I didn't talk about before, but the Zoro being just in the lakes and oceans or whatnot can just be annoying. Oop, okay. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I probably rely a little too much on the sword memes, but I mean, they're just that good. Now, as we go over this way, we see a stump and we see a red Octorok. Well, this stump could be what remains of the Great Deku Tree, but as we go down it, we find level 1, the first dungeon in the game. And it's a nice little detail that we actually had an Octorok outside. Every dungeon, as far as I know of, has something to signify that, well, quote, it is a dungeon. They're gonna ha all have an enemy outside of it, essentially guarding the dungeon, I guess. Which adds me confused, because you would think that these dungeons are controlled by Ganon, but he's looking for the Triforce that Zelda broke up, so... Uh, did the skeletons and everything work for Zelda? Did, is Ganon taking his time having issues getting the Triforce Shards? Because, yeah, looking at it, it I don't think it makes too much sense. But then again, it, it's a video game. <laughs> I mean, am I going to really overthink a game back from, like, what was it? 1986, I think it was? Absolutely. <laughs> Come on! It was just sitting here. You're at your enemies. Come on, Ganon. Your minions already found the Triforce, all you had to do was get one piece and you would have stopped me from actually collecting them. Get with it. What were they thinking? What's this story? Zero out of ten. 
Okay, I, I, I am so done with that annoying voice. I'm annoying myself with it. Oh no, the door's locked! And only is one door locked, but the other one needs a key to unlock. Thankfully, the bats were not annoying. But also, thankfully, destroying all the bats opened up the door. That's not always going to be the case, but sometimes destroying all the enemies can give you something. And I believe this room has the Hoshi Kisses, if I'm correct. No, it is more bats! Of course, it's not going to be chocolate. Why would it be chocolate? Well, then again, if there's bats, they probably don't want that chocolate. <laughs> What I do know is that I just want to continue on. We actually found the compass. The compass' main use is that it will show us on the map where the Triforce is located. Uh, if you know what you're doing, it's honestly kind of useless. Here's the Hoshi Kisses. AKA Slime. Uh, but although, from what I've seen, if you're playing a randomizer of the original game, it could be very useful as the Triforce piece could be moved th randomly throughout the entire dungeon. The easternmost peninsula is the secret. Thank you, old man. Why are you just inside this cave? So yeah, I guess the dungeon- if there's old man in these dungeons... Who is the old man? Why is he here? I guess this is his home. Also, um... Is it just me, or does the map kind of look like it could be like a quiver? Like, I understand it's like, the right side is being folded up a little bit, but I see a quiver. Also, this is the first dungeon, and I believe it is titled The Eagle. Which... I'm gonna be completely honest, I see more of a magic lamp than an eagle. Like, I, I can definitely see the quote eagle, if you're considering the part, like, I'm going up to you right now, being the head, Bonapal with the feet, and then, like, left wing, right wing, but... I don't know, I just see a magic lamp, like... Wow, you guys also drop bombs. Yeah, I got table lock, I could not get bombs for the longest time. I see more like this is the lid to a uh, genie's lamp. Ooh, careful. I almost got, I almost got uh, sliced and diced. What's the right-hand side being like smoke coming out of the lamp? Either way, I want to go down here, and we have to do this. Because this is a required item. Which is honestly a little odd. There are a few items that are 100... Excuse me. Uh -oh. Excuse me. That are 100% required, the bow being one of them. Uh, another one being the arrow, and we'll talk about some other ones later on, but there are also some items that are actually not necessary. To be completely honest, if you know what you're doing, and if you're skilled enough, you can beat the game- well, you can beat all but the final boss without ever picking up a sword. That's just how skilled people are at this game, as well as technically how, I guess, open-ended you want to call it? Also, Garuda, I want to be careful, because they can throw their boomerangs. Which kind of look like toenails back when the game came out. Well, back on, like, a smaller screen. But yeah, okay, want to be careful, because I remember you guys. Also know that these guys can drop a stopwatch, which, if you want to destroy them all, not the best. Wall, mas wall masters can be slightly annoying, but... I mean, honestly, in this game, they're probably very easy, just because of how easy they are to kill. And yeah, if we actually listen, we can hear a war. Uh, that means that we are one room away, or, like, one tile away from where we are is the boss of the dungeon. So, in this case, we can only hear- we, uh, we're only gonna hear it from being the one room below. Ow. Either way, that is the first boss. Not all that difficult, really. Very simple dungeon. But then again, it's level 1. And I want to try and get... I want to get the level 2 done today, but... I also don't want these being very long episodes, so... I think it's my own fault for taking so long in the beginning. Uh, I think we're going to continue moving on through the overworld, and we're going to make our way over to the second dungeon. But I don't think we're actually going to... Uh, work on the second dungeon today. Ouch. Uh, if I have any advice about playing this game... One, don't be me. Uh, two, don't be too greedy with the sword. Know when to attack and run to keep moving. Because I do get too greedy and try to just, like, brute force my way through it. Like, right there. If that enemy didn't die right there, I would have taken a hit. But yeah. I would say... Uh, these guys are kind of the most annoying enemy we're going to find. Well, that are... Well... That's a lie. These guys are a little bit annoying just because of their whole going underground and then having to find 
them, or, like, be careful they don't, like, spawn right underneath you. Although, to be fair, I would say that also makes these guys the most fun at the fact of, like, okay, I actually have to pay attention. And do I have to fight them? No! Am I going to? Yes! Also, the health does not respawn when they... Oh, yeah, the health does not respawn or reset when they go underground. So, if you dealt two damage to one of these guys, it'll still hold that two damage. Oh, but how about if I can actually aim? And it would have been very nice if he actually taught me something. Oh, well. I want to keep going over this fight. This is where... Ugh, things can get annoying. Ah, there we go. Nope. Ah! Because again, these P ads are so annoying because you can only hit them in specific... When they're not doing anything. So when they're in idle animation. But the second they start moving just a little bit... And am I being greedy? Absolutely. Is it, Am I gonna get anything out of this? Likely not. Get over here. God dang it. I don't know why I'm wasting my time. I shouldn't be wasting my god dang time! See, I didn't even get anything out of that. Uh, should've just kept on moving. Oh yeah, the boomerang will not actually damage enemies. Well, this one won't anyway. Very, 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 very... Thank you. Okay, suspicious looking rock. Actually, where exactly where I want to be. Blast open a, a hole into the wall, and boom. Take anyone you want! I will take the second heart. And as a matter of fact, if we want, we can actually go get ourselves a new sword. Technically, we could have done that as soon as we got five hearts. But I'm going to save that for later on. Actually, while we're out here, something else I can think of that we can do. Uh, I'm trying to think of what this one is. I think this one is just a secret to everybody. Yes, it is. It's a secret to everybody. 30 bucks! Thank you for the cash. Either way, we're almost to the next dungeon, so I guess I should be more or less getting ready to sign off. Obviously, I have no idea how this is going to go, and I do not... I, well, I plan on trying to continue RimWorld and doing this at the same time, until at least one of them is finished. I'm assuming this might be finished before RimWorld does, just because... Well, I don't know. Ready can sometimes just be a real pain in the neck. I think that I've been doing really well in RimWorld. But I also maybe should not be talking about RimWorld when I'm playing this, but eh, who cares. I'm the one doing all this stuff, god dang it. Also, thank you guys for giving me so many bombs. Couldn't get that in all last time. Okay, let's just keep on moving. Ah! I do appreciate the fact that we actually have a shield that properly works. The fact that it will actually block the rocks, but either way, that doesn't matter. Right now, we're just gonna go up these stairs and find ourselves the entrance to Dungeon 2. So, next time, when we come back in here, we'll be doing this dungeon. And I'm actually going to be saving it off. Thank you, Switch, for having this. What's the save point? I'm not going to be abusing this. I will not be abusing this or the rewind function. I'm going to say right now that it's here, but I'm not going to abuse it. Either way, until next time, so long, farewell, and... Well, we'll take care of this dungeon. See ya!